It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and here's what we have on the agenda for today. Now, just a reminder, uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday, I'm going to have the first Viewer's Choice episode going up on the channel. Your loadouts, I'm going to be using them. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to have fun with it, trying to figure out what I can do with them. But that's tomorrow. But today, we're just going to kind of continue playing through until we're pretty much just waiting for the update, for the new changes like that, and pretty much just kind of finalizing on that whole new Viewer's Loadout video. But right now, I'm pretty much on the survivors right now, I believe. I believe that to be the truth. And my guild is just about 6,000 XP away from hitting level 16. And the perk we will be getting is Rejuvenation. So it lowers the stamina generation to 45 minutes, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing. It's going to be It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait because it's just going to let me attack that much more. So I'm excited for that. But what I am here to do today is pretty much just kind of farm a little bit and keep working on just getting more units, upgrading my squad, and just, you know, doing what I do. So, right now, we have a lot of places we can go. I'm going to go to Cape Town because people in my guild were actually talking about Cape Town a little bit earlier. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a shot, see what we can do on it. Because on Expert... We're getting 53 little cup thingies, 590 cans, so that's about 330 cans plus per raid. So that's actually pretty good, it's actually very decent. And expert only requires level 18, I have a lot of level 20s, so I think that's pretty darn good. So let's defend it and see what we can do. The Cape of No Hope. I just remember throwing it back to when I actually was like actually playing all these. Trying to get Destructor and everything. I miss those days. That was a lot of fun. It was legit. So I'm going to just throw some snipers back here to help hold down the fort. While the machine gunner kind of loads up and gets ready for everything. That's going to come flying at him. And what do I see over here? Oh, there's that little Cape Town thing. The tennis court. <laughs> it was random, but I saw that on the front. I had to point that out. What else do we see in here? So apparently, art directors like putting Easter eggs, I guess you could say, in their artwork. So I'm going to take a look. Hmm, what could that blood spatter mean over there? Ooh, <laughs> trying to discern what things mean. Dead end, stop, road closed. Okay, so nothing over there. This is fun, we're looking for the secrets in the art. In TBH, I don't see much. Ooh, more stuff. TBH, I'm having trouble finding anything. Will we find anything? I don't even know. I'm leaning towards no. Alright, let's actually start the raid now. I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm just going to throw some mercenaries here. Some commandos there. Throw my machine gunner there. Some snipers there. Commando there, gunslingers there, lumberjacks there, <laughs> just saying everything there. Let's start these waves, get it going, see what we can do. And pretty much just kind of reckon a lot of brutes. Looks like we're gonna have brutes and runners on this base. It's gonna be pretty tough because first runners are just a pain in the butt because if they get close to you, they're gonna be able to knock you out in one or two shots. And then brutes are just so high powered, it's just tough unless you have snipers, which I do, thankfully. So that's actually going to help a lot when it comes to trying to take out those guys. Something I'm going to do, I'm going to move these guys right over here and throw down two of these machine gunners to pretty much load up and watch out at this specific area. And they pretty much got all wiped out because they couldn't load up fast enough. <sighs> that's my bad. I should have put down those earlier. But it's okay. It's all good. Not too worried. We're going to do good because I have this machine gunner and the three spec ops loaded up right by the hospital just, be, just in case. They're going to be right there. Good defense. Amazing stuff. Let's see. I'm going to move this closer. There we go. And pull the iPad on up. And we're just going to town here. Boom. We won. Cleared it. Three stars. Cake. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mercenary and sniper. Sniper.
fun stuff. So we have about 1,200 cans, and I want to get to 2,000 before this episode ends. That's what I want to do. Then I can work on some upgrading and pretty much just continue my path to upgrading. Because I kind of want to upgrade a scatter shot to 20. Because I really like the mercenaries and scatter shots. They do a very good job at doing their whatever they do. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, so that was loud. Because I'm going to throw two machine gunners right here. And they're pretty much just going to go off. Alright, so I want to put them right there. This guy's going to go right up here. I'm going to throw some snipers back here. Perfect. So the hospitals, I think it's going to be pretty locked down right there. I'm not too worried about that. Over here, different storage is going to be a little bit tougher. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to have these two pads pretty much focused on this one. Actually, the thing is, that's not going to be that too much of a problem. Goodness gracious. I need to, like, mute my phone. It's just gotten really loud. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to have one machine gunner here and one there. And then pretty much all my mercs right here. Two lumberjacks right there. Then my level 20 commando. So we're going to be pretty locked down defense right over there. Over here I'm going to have with a one lumberjack. I have two commandos. The rest of my snipers are going to go out right over here as well. And I'm just going to throw the last four gunfighters. Just to pretty much have some total lockdown right on that third pad. Because that's going to be a pretty tough third wave right there. Not too bad, but it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. So I'm going to pretty much load up this entire work. This, that one side is pretty much completely locked down. And over here, we have one lumberjack to depend on with the snipers and the um, machine gunners. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. But everybody is launching. And one thing I actually am looking forward to in the next update that you guys might know not know about is that you're going to be able to speed up the waves. So say you're pretty much just set and you want to have all the waves come at you once. You'll be able to click them and you'll get extra points because everything's not going to be based on a star system coming up. It's going to be based on the um guild points or whatever the cups so it's gonna be a pretty much changed system so you're gonna be able to, it's just gonna help change up the leaderboards a lot it's gonna be really nice i'll talk about it when the update actually comes out more but until then we're with the stars and things like that so this area is pretty locked down now over here mercenaries are going to town along with the machine gunners so it's pretty good phone went off again oh go uh oh uh oh okay i thought they were getting a little close to the hospital for a second but they weren't so it's all good all right so i'm gonna throw down the mazdov cocktail on this pad for this round and we're just gonna pretty much keep taking out these drones and brutes and the runners all right so the machine gunners did load up on the hospital end right over here all good pretty much everything is down there we go i love it Three stars. Getting about 1300 XP per raid, which is very good. I am a big fan of that. Let's see. How am I standing on the guild leaderboard? Sitting about sixth place? One, two, three, four, fifth, five, fifth place. Ooh, Legion broke 100,000. Turn up. Wait, he did that already, didn't he? He did. Still, so legit. Level 49. This close to level 50. This close. Almost there. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Let's get another attack in on Cape Town. If it wants to show up, there it is. Alright, so let's get another attack in, and then I'm going to do some upgrading. And just kind of upgrade the scatter shot until I pretty much use all my cans, and then call it a day. Because that's what I want to do. I want to level up my scatter shots. Alright, so right here, this is me. Actually, I'm. I like this one. Alright, so right here, I'm actually just going to throw my machine gunners right on over here. They're going to be completely focused on this one area right here. Let's move everybody over here. Throw down that last spec ops. And we just have a large grouping of snipers and machine gunners. And it's a really tight grouping, so it'll be good for stimming and things like that. Perfect lockdown for all three of these pads that are going to be coming out here. Now over here, I'm going to throw down all my mercenaries and things like that. So I'm going to have some mercenaries. And then I'm going to have my three commandos on this pad. So we're pretty much locked down with a different type of attack right over there. So let's start the waves. If need be, I'll throw down some extra stuff. But right now, I'm actually a pretty big fan of what's going to be going on here. I'm going to throw an extra gun slinger right there just because I need him. And looky there. Looky there. So as you see, I'm able to stim all of these guys right up. And just because they're so close together, so it's perfect. Over here, we're about to get all three pads loaded up with people. 
And so far, we're pretty much locking down all these areas pretty well. I love it. Okay, I'm going to stim up these guys a little bit just because it's getting a little crowded over here. A little bit too crowded for my taste. But it's pretty fun. I really do enjoy snipers. I have fun with them. One of my favorites. So actually, no one's coming out over there. So I'm just going to throw down a Mazdaf cocktail right there. Just to pretty much take out some of those drones and help out a little bit. So we got about a minute and 15 seconds left and these drones are just pretty much coming to an end because these machine gunners and snipers are locking down like nobody's business. And drones are about to go off. Let's throw a flare right here in the middle to bring everybody there a little bit faster. Stim them up. One, two, three, bop. <laughs> Boom. Knocked them out. Three stars. Let's take the scatter shot next. Alright, so here we go. Loaded up the units. Let's find if, where our scatter shots are. So we have a level three scatter shot now. A little bit better than starting from one. So let's just start consuming and using cans to level up. Hopefully, I'll be, I want to be able to. Hopefully, I'll be able to evolve it before the end of the episode. Hopefully, I won't run out of cans. I'm gonna get to level eight, and then I'm gonna check my can level because I do not want to run out completely. I really don't like personal trainers, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of them. So we're at level 8, let's see where we stand. 1200, perfect. I think we'll be able to get it. Scattershot, where are you? Where are you at, bro? I just passed it. There it is. Upgrade. Get rid of this personal trainer. I'll get rid of three of my outlaws. One lumberjack. And get rid of all these handymen. Let's confirm that. I really don't like field medics. I love my spec ops. I can get rid of one sharpshooter. Ooh, I have a lot of these. I'm gonna get rid of two scatter shots. And then final thing. Gunslingers, fire chiefs. I can get rid of two of these fire chiefs. I'll get rid of two EMTs. And then one contractor. Let's confirm that and evolve. And we are at level 11. Boom. I love it because I really like mercenaries and scatter shots, things like that. They're very good. I recommend it if you don't have them, but that's going to call it a day for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.